This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring Services. In this presentation, we're going to learn to solve equations that have grouping symbols. So we have a problem that says 2 times the quantity of x minus 2 is equal to x plus 3 times x minus 4. The first thing we have to do is remember PEMDAS. And the first order of operations in PEMDAS says parentheses. So we need to, the parentheses tell us, hey, look at me first. There's something you need to do with me. With inside the parentheses, there's nothing I can do to combine them. But immediately outside of the parentheses, I have this times 2. So I need to take care of that. I'm going to use my distributive property in order to do that. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 2 is a negative 4. I bring everything else down. Now I've got another set of parentheses. I can't combine anything inside, but immediately to the outside I'm being asked to multiply. I always want to look to simplify whenever I can. And at this step, I can combine that. So I'm going to bring everything down. And I'm going to combine the things that are like. And it becomes 4x, x plus 3x, 4x, minus 12. All right, so now I've got a dilemma. I've got x's on both sides of the equal sign. Can't have that. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides using my additive property of equality. And at the same time I'm doing that, I'm going to add 4 to both sides to get my numbers by themselves and that cancels out so I want to simplify negative 2x is equal to negative 8 my last step I've got to get x negative 2 times some number is equal to negative 8 I want to divide by negative 2 because it's the opposite of times by negative 2 x is equal to a positive Four. All right, so let's go ahead and do this again. Distribute the negative 4 to everything inside the parentheses. And we're going to do it again. Look to combine, and I can combine these. I could have combined them up here as well. I'm going to use my additive property to move this 8 to the other side. And then I'm going to use my multiplicative property. This can be simplified. They can both be divided by 2. And when I do that, I get a, and a negative divided by negative is a positive. So negative 6 divided, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. My final answer, x equals 3 over 2. One times one times two divided by two. Well, this can simplify out, and I'm left with a one x. And the four divided by two can be simplified to a negative two. And once again, this is negative two times six times three. I can actually simplify this right here. And six minus three is a three. And now it simplifies because the threes cancel each other out. So I'm left with a negative 2. Great. Let's use the additive property. And I'm left with x by itself equals 0.
Now, we could actually, to prove this, I can substitute my 0 in. Two times zero is zero. Zero minus four is a negative four. One half a negative four is a negative two. Six minus three is three. Negative two thirds of three is equal to negative two. My solution is correct.